Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is David with Capture the World. Don't mind my hand. It was in the way. But yeah, it's Dreamville weekend. I'm doing a vlog on my experience. I'm about to be on the road now. We're leaving from Virginia. Obviously, it's going to be about a three-hour three, three hour drive. I got my friend Jay on the passenger Hello. side. You can hear her voice, but she don't want to be in the camera because she said <laughs> she ain't got her hair did and all that. So you'll see on the next clip tomorrow or whatever. But yeah, so um, Dreamville weekend. It's my third time going. This is your second time going? Yes. So last year, obviously, it was Drake, J. Cole with the headliners. Um, that was a movie. How you feel about that? How, do you that remember? was lit, yes. That was lit. And yeah. Usher. Yeah, Usher, Usher. That was cool, too. So, you know, this year, people were, like, so excited from last year. They were, you know, they were thinking, like, how can they top last year, right? So, you know how Dreamville do. They wait till like, the last minute, like, a month before the the festival to um drop the lineup and we seen that once they finally dropped it it was what it was chris brown and scissor the first day and then who was the last j cole and Nicki minaj right so a lot of people weren't that excited for this lineup and then this week they took out chris brown and put 50 cent in the lineup and that made people even more pissed off so, me and Jay, we're just going for the vibes at this point. Um, you know, could the lineup have been better? I think so. What you think about the lineup? It's all right. So, who are you excited to see? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that, that don't sound super convincing to at see, all. Um, Jeezy, Schoolboy Q. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see Nikki. Um, SZA, I've never seen her um, perform live. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Obviously... J. Cole will always bring the heat. He dropped a new album. Well, I don't know if it's a mixtape, whatever, but um, Might Delete Later. Okay, cool. So Might Delete Later, he dropped that joint last night. Got the whole social media in a frenzy. He dropped the, um, the Kendrick disc. Some people liked it. Some people thought he could have went harder. But um, I'm excited to see what he going to do on stage. Maybe he might have some more shots for Kendrick on stage. Who knows what's going to happen? Might be some surprise guests. It's, it's going to be a movie in, in that regard. So... But yeah, we're going to be on the road now, and we see y'all when we get back to the Airbnb. All right, man, we just got to the Airbnb. <laughs> We got your name here. It's it's Jay birthday, but she's still not ready to be in the video yet. Be in the video, girl. Crazy. Shout out to. Like you're going to space. So she got some decorations for her birthday. We got my boy Chief Keith in the building. Oh, so now my boy AJ. Oh, damn, say my fault. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go this way. I don't want to get Jay in. Let's take a tour of the Airbnb. You got a nice living room. I see. Bathroom. It's supposed to be my room. Ooh, I like nice. That's a good thing you got here, but you don't really have to. Alright, what else we got? Okay. Alright, man. Okay. Oh, my bad. No, you good. Alright. Yes. Another bathroom. Yes. Let's see, what we got? Another room. Alright, shot time, y'all. I'm trying to get Jay in the picture. Right. I have short arms. <sighs> Cheers. 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 To y'all being yeah, 32 and old and me being Oh, no. All right, I got my girl Jay in the building. Your birthday is on Sunday. We already got her uh, decorations. Hey, hey. <laughs> let's, see your, let's see your presents. Let's, you guys. You oh, got, oh, show them the You don't show got to say everything out. I have. Okay. Oh, my big present. Yeah. I have a Gucci set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. It's an inside joke. My peeps. Because I'm going to Run it back. And I got a shaker. Because we're going to be turning up this week. That's right. And she knows I love mud. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Actually, they just picked that out for you. Okay. She's like, yeah. Did? Oh, 
Alright man, day one dream of FS. Get my boy AJ making his drinks. We got Jay right here. Shanae. Now I'm on my back out. <laughs> Hi. Shanae. I'll edit that part out. <laughs> Alright, so who y'all excited to see today, man? Uh, who coming up there today? Drake. That was, I don't that, that was last year. Gotta get a time machine. <laughs> Let me see who coming up there today. We got uh, 50 Cent, SZA, oh, hey. Damani. Uh, I want to go see uh, Damani, Luke. Luke. J.I.D. Mm -hmm. 50. I'm tired for Luke. Mm -hmm. And Sexy Red. I ain't going to follow. Sexy Red. Sexy. What a, um, Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q, bro. You That's tomorrow. School, bro. That's the day, bro. Oh, that is today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's number one. I need to I'll see bring that. this for yeah. back. Y'all ain't coming up there since we're going to pull up there, but I ain't really excited for that. You excited for who? Scissor? Yeah, Scissor. What it is, niggas and niggas. <laughs> nah, keep that in. I'm a daggers and niggas. I'm gonna put a uh, a video. I mean, uh, um. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are in the garage. I'm about to walk to Dreamville Fest. Got my boy AJ in the background. Yeah. Where, where Jay? Where Jay, where you at? Oh. Where you at? Let's go. <laughs> What's Shanae doing? Hey. Sure. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I was warned. You had to get certified medical attention. Well, you know what? You are nowhere to be found. Oh, man. You're actually there. I got a parking, but I didn't get the lift. Yeah, right? Like, broken limbs. All right, y'all. We out here sitting down, chilling. We just missed Luke, Sinead. We missed Luke for the third year in a row. <laughs> we did. We'll catch them 2026. 2026? Yes. So you're going to skip 2025, huh? Because I know us. Yeah. All right. Um, but we got we got Tizo touchdown in about an hour. Anybody excited for him? Tizo. No, no. I'm no, right no. I'm here for the What about Sexy Red, huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Think about the um the J Cole you know response to Kendrick. Honestly, I haven't kept up with it too much. Uh, I'm more of a Kanye fan myself, so yeah. I'm, I'm I'm like third partying this, right, letting yeah. it roll out. Okay, what about you, bro? For me, like I've been huge following it, and like I gotta be Team Cole, like yeah. for sure. Like I don't even mess with Drake that much, but like I gotta say a little to Cole to Dreamville. So yeah. of course I thought the response was great. Like okay. I think people who said it was bad are just like Kendrick meat writers. Like come on, <laughs> like that that shit was tough. You can't lie. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Boy, you not as sexy. What we say? We waiting for 50 cent, y'all. 
Good. Uh, <laughs> we ain't waiting for 50 cents. Now put a camera on you. Yeah, you ain't my blog. It's, it's my blog. It's my blog. Tell everybody your name and where you from. My name is not available. I don't want nobody finding me. All right, can you, can you tell everybody where you from? You I'm from Memphis, though. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day two, Dreamville Fest. It was a it was a good time last night, so we're about to see how it's gonna go today. About to go to brunch. And um yeah. Alright y'all, day two, Dreamville Fest. We about to go to where we going? Parkside? Parkside. Alright. Alright. So how y'all feeling today, man? It was a long night. Long day yesterday. I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> I feel great. I'm ready to parlay. Right I can't even see your name. My big old head blocking. Her. There she go. Yeah. <laughs> so who y'all excited to see today? Jeezy. Young Jeezy. Yeah. A kind of Young Bang Jeezy. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> what about Mr. Glock? Young Glock. Glizzy. Yeah. 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 All of that. Okay. We got think J Cole gonna do the same the same set of set course. list something different. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. Jay's birthday. These two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, mm. like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. And downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, 
that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it made, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'm gonna take that shit in the chin, boy, do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, What's up, y'all? This is David with Capture the World. We are going back home from the Dreamville Fest. Um, you know, last night they had Nikki, um, it was cold. They had Jeezy, Ray Sherman, um, Track Nick was Monica, Key Glock, and some other people yesterday. And um, like I said, we're on the road going back home now, going back to Virginia. And um, I think the controversial topic of yesterday was J. Cole apologizing for the seven minute drill track he dropped on his Mike the Leap Later mixtape. And me personally, I was not feeling that. I don't, I, I was hoping he was gonna stand on business. You know, I was hoping he would even possibly perform that song so he could be like, let people know like, hey, I'm, I'm here to stay, like I'm number one, but he got on stage and pulled out the stool and did the apology tour. Yeah, I, I was defeated. Um, I don't know what to say. How you feel about that, Jay? I mean, I agree. <laughs> I think he should have performed it. And then I think he could have went on his, you know, his little rant saying how he was conflicted and all that stuff. And then did Love Yours. Yeah. But I get it. He's at peace. Obviously, he's not worrying about what everybody else is worrying about right now. He's on his own walk in life. And I guess he's not going to let anybody, you know, mess that up. And I don't think he cares what anybody thinks. Yeah, because even before he said it, he was like, I know this is not what y'all want to hear, but this is what it is. So he already knew what the reaction was going to be. And he probably knew, like, yeah, this is what people going to say, but I'm fine with that. And I'm going to just stick to, stick to this and not care about what y'all think. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I, was, I respect him for that. But, and also, he was on his way out, <laughs> like, right. lyrically, musically, I think he was on his way out. And I think Kendrick knew that, and he was trying to pull him back in. Yeah. But when somebody says they're done, and they've done everything they've set out to do, then they're done. All right, that's facts. All right, so let's talk about, real quick, the other people. There was a lot of people that were late. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, we've seen that Monica was late, like, 30 minutes late. Was trying to see her, but the big story was Nicki Minaj was an hour, like an hour late, right? Yes, an hour late, bro. Like, I think she was supposed to perform at eight o'clock, and about time, I think we stood there for like we had a good spot, too. It was after 8 45 when we left, right? So basically, we waited for her for 45 minutes, and it took her another 15 to 20 minutes to come out after that. Yep, we was, all, we was already on the other side where J. Cole was supposed to perform at, so we can get a good spot for him. So that was kind of unfortunate. It was a lot of Nicki Minaj fans that still was running over to the other stage to see her still. I couldn't do all that walking, bro. We couldn't mm -hmm. do all that walking. No. So overall, this is my third time in the road going to Dreamville Fest. I guess I might go next year, but I might wait till the lineup drops oh. before I get my ticket just so I know what I'm getting myself into. Well, um, I don't even think that's gonna help because we saw the lineup and they changed it at the last minute. Right, so even that, <laughs> you still might not know what you get. <laughs> we thought we was getting Chris Brown and they gave us 50. But speaking about, speaking hey, of 50 though, I respected he did his, his thing. Set. Yeah, he did his thing. I can't lie, he did his thing. He was tired, he but was he tired. did it. He did it, he, he, he getting old, he getting up there. <laughs> but he did his thing, man. So, you know, he had the live band, the dancers, everything. That was, that was A1. That was probably the best performance to me, to be honest. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So, yeah, so like I said, we on our way back, Dreamville Fest. And if I had to rank, because like I've been to three of them, you know, three in a row, I would say last year obviously was the best one to me. I ain't gonna lie, I think this one was third to me. Because, I don't know, I just feel like the lateness of people and mm -hmm. even the sound was messed up for Ooh. some and SZA, her sound was messed up. Her sound up. was trash, man. And um, 
And then the, the Afrobeast artist named Rimba, I think he walked off stage because his sound was so bad. Ooh. I think he just stopped and just walked off stage. Oh, even on J. Cole's set last yeah, night. Yeah, people's mics weren't working. I'm like, On the best parts of the song, too. Right. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure some people got fired today. <laughs> well, whoever, whatever sound company they use to do the sound, they can just fix, fix somebody else because I think they had problems last year, too, with the sound. Oh, on um, Summer Walker set. Yeah, Summer set. And, and I, Ari, too, I Ari, think. yeah. I, I don't know what's, I don't know what they're doing. Nothing. <laughs> so hopefully next year they'll um, fix that. And I know J. Cole kept hinting that Dreamville Fest don't have too many left, the way he was talking. But they did say, see y'all next year, so we need to get one next year. But we don't know how long they got to go, but hopefully it's a couple of more to go. And um, so yeah, so Jay, did you have fun overall though? I did. I got to take a couple of naps on the mat <laughs> <laughs> while we were trying to enter Gag City. Right. We, we never made it, Nikki. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Jeezy, I think was my favorite so far. Yeah. I missed Schoolboy Q, but I heard him. He sounded good. Yeah, his set was just so short to me. Yeah, he didn't play that many songs. I wonder why though. Yeah, I don't know either, but overall, it was a good experience. We was able to sneak some alcohol pouches in there, so oh, yeah. we saved money on drinks. Tons. Tons of money on drinks.